look at this. Mm -hmm. Hello you guys, welcome back to Talisha's Kitchen and today we're going to make some loaded fries. Let me get the fries, I forgot. Are you some fries? You can make you some fresh ones, but I just decided to get these. But I'm gonna put these back in the freezer until I'm ready. Now your choice of meat is up to you, what you wanna put on it, but I wanna put on mine some shrimp, lobster tail, and chicken. So let's go ahead and, wait a minute, let me tell you something else we need. We need you some heavy whipping cream. I got me some diced um, peco. Pico, got um, everything in here. Tomatoes, onions, peppers, jalapeno peppers, you know. Got me some par shredded Parmesan cheese, Italian blend. I got some, no, I'm not gonna use that. Some cream cheese, some queso cheese, and some Gouda cheese. So let me go ahead and clean each one of these, put it in here and cut it up. Okay, let me rinse both of these off and come back. Okay, we are back. We are season our meat. Y'all already know I got the length to season the meat. So I separate them because we're gonna cook the chicken first and then we're going to cook the um, the seafood. So come on over here. Y'all don't need to see me anymore. You're gonna put like a half a stick of butter in here. We're gonna put olive oil in last, but we wanna let that melt down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna add some garlic in here and this Italian herb. Just a little squeeze, as you can see. It's a nice little stir. Now we can add our chicken breast. And it's on medium heat. Okay, this has been slowly cooking on each side for about 10 minutes each side. So now we're gonna pour some olive oil in here. Olive oil is just gonna give it a nice little brown um, coat. We're gonna turn it over and just let this cook down some more. And I'm gonna pour some olive oil on top of this one. Make sure it's on low because you don't want it to burn. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over. Put them some more on this side. See, I got that little golden brown to it. That's the look you wanna go for. Okay, this is done. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna set it on the cutting board because we're gonna cut it. Let me rinse my fork off. And in the same, I'm gonna add some, just a little bit more butter. You don't need to add any more um, olive oil. And go ahead and cook your seafood. Dump this in a bowl. Cook your seafood. And we'll move on to the next step. 
Okay, this is done. I'm gonna pour this, all them juices. You want all them juices. Pour that in the bowl. On medium high, you're gonna add you some butter, like a half a stick, two cups of heavy whipping cream. Just scoop out to some sour, not sour cream, cream cheese. And season this. You can go ahead and put your fries on. Cause this sauce gonna be real quick. There's some complete season I put on, some Mrs. Dash, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Slap your mama. Some seasoning salt. Just a squirt of tomato paste. Just for color. Some accent. Give this a good stir. Go ahead and add you some your Paco, cop, whatever name this is. Just a little bit, not too much. Bring this to a boil. So we're just gonna add in a little bit of um, Gouda cheese. Not that much, cause we got other cheese we gotta put in there. Sprinkle in a little bit of Parmesan cheese, like that. How much of that is? Sprinkle. Almost like a half a handful of the shredded cheese. We want to give all this a good stir. And then we're going to pull this, the meat back in there. Give us a good stir. Make sure you taste this. Make sure it's seasoned how you want it to taste. But trust me, that juice that you had from cooking the meat, you ain't gonna need no more seasoning. So it came to a boil. Everything is mixed and it's thickening up. So you wanna turn this off. Just gonna put two scoops of this cheese in there. And this is the queso, salsa queso there. Okay, we're gonna take this off the stove, let this sit for at least 15 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our fries. Okay, here are our fries. Our sauce has been sitting for 15 minutes. You just want it to get thick. But look at this sauce, y'all. So. Well, you guys, let's do the taste test. Oh. Let's do the taste test. This is hot. Look at this.
Mm. Mm. This is good. That queso cheese put a good spin to it. Mm. 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 Y'all. Let me eat me some more. This is so good. I'm sorry. The seafood is banging out here. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Got some cranberry peach. Mm. Y'all. How do y'all make y'all loaded fries? Let me know down below. Let me know if you tried my recipe. Let me know how you like it, what you didn't like about it. Y'all got some recommendations. Go ahead and put them at the bottom. But baby, until next time. Mm. Mm. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. And try this out. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry for swimming my mouth open. I hope y'all don't see anything. Thank you for tuning in for Talisha's Kitchen. And this edition of my loaded seafood and chicken fries. Until the next time.